sticking it in a bigger piece this time. You know, lots of bubbles coming out. Uh, and one thing you may notice is occasionally we'll get a large jump here uh, uh, um, from the bubbles popping, but I can blow it away and it'll come back. See? But occasionally you get these large pops that come out. If you look close, and it's probably hard to tell from where you're at, especially with as tiny as the beaker and the pieces, uh, but uh, if you watch those little piece, poofs that come up as the bubbles pop on top, because what color are the bubbles, by the way? Wait, take a close look. They look a little light. They're actually cloudy and foggy. <laughs> if you take a look at it closely on the top, it is definitely foggy bubbles. But then as they pop, it's what's giving all this this fog here. But you end up with, uh, sometimes when these pop, creating little smoke rings. Uh, and smoke rings are actually an effect of the, uh, it starts out at, let's say, a sphere, a ball of smoke. Uh, when the smoke ring is blown out, uh, it ends up flattening really quick due to air resistance. And then the center is affected more than the outside edges. And so then the center kind of dissipates and the outside edges begin to roll. And that rolling effect then is what creates the ring and what causes it to get bigger. Also, by the way, I uh, definitely do not encourage anyone to ever smoke. And certainly if you do, wait until you're of legal age. But you can see here a whole bunch of uh, fog. And as Luke noticed er, noted earlier, it does stay um, pretty much right there uh, on top of the water. Uh, and then when it does come out, what's it do? Just trickles, over the edge. trickles over the edge and goes down, which means that the carbon dioxide gas is yeah. more dense than air. See here. Yeah. And if I put more in, we'll probably get a bigger effect, and we probably could get quite a bit <laughs> <laughs> bubbling out over the edge there. So probably like that then. So what you're There's waiting here at dry ice fast. But yes, it just goes down over the edge. Also, as you know, carbon dioxide is used in fire extinguishers and will put out flames. So here we have a match. Oh. Broke the matchstick. Broke the matchstick there, so try again. There you have a, a flaming match. And if I bring it down here close to smoke it, it goes out. Extinguish it fully before I throw it away in the trash. Um, that one there I'm going to have to get rid of on my own. Also, another interesting thing, see if my candle here works. I was having trouble lighting my candle last period, so we'll see if I can get it to light this time. Yeah, there we go. Oh, stink. <laughs> yeah, my beaker froze to the table. There we go. There's my handle. There. There's a layer of ice that fro froze over the carbon dioxide, or over the dry ice, a layer of water ice, which then caused it to not um, bubble quite as fat rapidly. But notice I can pour just a gas. Notice I'm not pouring any liquid out at all. Just poured gas to extinguish that, that flame there. So, do that again here real quick. But that's something most people don't think about. Gas is a fluid, just like liquids, and can be poured. So, here once again. Pouring a gas. So, just proof verification, if you will, uh, that um, carbon dioxide can extinguish flames. <laughs>